draw on the experiences from those last three road games, those those tight games? I, I think kind so. Of moving forward? I think definitely, especially I think more so the young guys can now because they truly understand it. Because now they see we went to West Virginia, Minnesota, Wisconsin. And we all had those games, and now everybody can see how tough it is to, to win on the road and learn from their mistakes individually. Excellent. Well, let's just talk about the. Do you think it's an advantage that you guys are on the Tuesday Sunday schedule and they've got a tough one tonight and they got to turn around and get ready for you on Sunday? Um, I, I think it's kind of tough just because the way the Big Ten is is physical, so guys don't have time to get their bodies healed up. And I think that's going to work into our advantage because we can get a little bit more rest and they have to worry about another tough game coming up. And just talk about this uh, dangerous Illinois team. I'm sure Wash already asked yeah. you, but. How dangerous is this team? I mean, they're very dangerous. You got Demetri McCamey, he, you know, looking at potentially the NBA. You got Mike Tisdale and Mike Davis with the size and Griffey. Then you got the young kids with Paul Richardson. And they, they have extreme talent, so, I mean, they're going to be a good team. So we have to really come out and play because they can turn it on and off. So we just got to hope that we play good against them. And for you playing back in Illinois, a little little more mo motivation for this one? Um, I mean, it's a little bit more motivation, but like I told Wash earlier, it's more so my grandma finally gets to come watch me play this year. It's the people that can't make this trip over here get to watch me, so that's the most exciting part for me. And how special is it for you to, to have family there to, to be able to watch you play? Oh, it's very special because they love watching me just on the court here, but they a lot of people don't get the experiences. So just them being able to experience a college game in person in the Sylvie Hall is great. It's going to be a great atmosphere. So I'm excited that they get to experience that. Thanks, Luke. Thanks, Luke. You guys have done well in the past, and does uh, that recent success lead to some, uh, a higher level of confidence going into Illinois this weekend? Definitely, because it's a tough place to play, so everybody knows what to expect. But knowing that we have won there in the past, it gives us the confidence to know we can go in there and get a win. When you went from obviously opened the season as a starter when you went from that plateau to kind of not really playing a whole lot did you did it impact on the practice floor at all in um, terms of like effort and stuff like that i feel like it did for a while for about a month or two and then finally i kind of picked it back up i think that's kind of helped you know a few of us in general pick our, our intensity up during practice just kind of uh you know the proverbial switch you can flip yeah i mean kind of in, in mm -hmm. essence yes thanks thanks pat appreciate it pat uh you guys uh, well, the team's been successful at Illinois in the past. Are you guys pretty confident going into this game? They've done been successful at Illinois in the past, so does uh, that lend to the confidence? Um, there's always confidence, but we always got to come in and a little extra maybe. Mm, maybe, but we're always still going to come in, you know, any given night, any team can beat anybody. So right. we're going to come in there, we're going to rebound, we're going to defend, and we're just going to play our game. And hopefully about, it'll work out for the about rebounding, anything different you guys are thinking this time, or just the same kind of stick to it, hustle, and try to go to the boards? Just make sure we out-rebound them, and that's all that matters. All right, thanks a lot, man. Mm -hmm.